Is there is there another video for us? No, we don't, we don't have to we don't have to do it. I know you're tired. I know you're Wait, tired. No, no, I, no. I have a video. Yes, we do. Can I send a video? Please. Oh my god. Uh-oh. Is like uh, This is a first, ladies and gentlemen. I, I like hold on, my friend just sent me this. Oh my god, my friend my friend Brendan Walsh just sent, Oh man. You know, maybe I'm not allowed to send this. No, think come on now. Can I I'll just you know what? Can you I I, I could just me? Yeah, I'm gonna airdrop it. I'm sorry, you guys. You just—I think, right. think this is okay. I hope this is—I hope this is okay. Uh, shit. Okay, I'm gonna just do it. Um, how do I airdrop here? Here, I'll come out and help you. Okay, thanks. This is amazing. Very special. <laughs> spiritual. Uh, I think everything's spiritual. Let's see. I know that now because you just thought that that dude was spiritual. What isn't spiritual? Come bucket dot guy. <laughs> I, I don't think he's spiritual. You uh, think cum buckets aren't spiritual? What's in a cum bucket? I, I can't think of anything spiritual in it. What's in it though? A human? Cum. Well, not yet. No. The I mean, you don't lay in it. Then, oh, uh, I was saying like a literal cum bucket. It's oh. filled with cum. Oh, well, that's. Pretty and what's cum? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. In a bucket. Send the videos. Send okay, the videos. okay. You know, a bucket. Think of the. Think of what a bucket means. You know, it has to for a bucket to. Contain. It has to be empty to contain cum. Yes, and? And so in the same way, if we get rid of ourselves, then we could contain the cum of the universe. Oh, I see. So if we're a cum bucket, we can be containing the wisdom of the universe. Yeah, it, like we have to Duncan, like... Duncan, Duncan, you present that to Ram Dass when you head over there in May and you see what he says. Ram Dass? Yes. He, I, this, I think you all have, this is a, we, we live in a time period Did where people, it? Where, no, people are very puritanical these days. I'm not saying, obviously I'm not saying, oh, here, I'm air dropping it. I'm not saying that guy is, uh, necessarily, you know, teetering on the brink of enlightenment or anything <laughs> like that, but I'm just, uh -oh. you know, uh oh, what's this? I hope this is okay. Honest to God. I, is this live, right? Are we live? No, we're no. not, we're no. not live. Let we'll, me just we'll make sure. If, okay. Here we go. We'll cut it out if we can't we'll show. All right. Still driving to get my cock sucked, only a few minutes up the road. He used to clean our house and I used to uh, suck him off, go into the bathroom, close the door and suck him off while my wife Liz was in the other room. My cock is hard now at the thought. It's also hard that uh, telling you this. I just adore naked men. I adore being naked with a man. Fuck the wife. She's a cunt. I really love sex with men. I've had hundreds of men. I've had more wham men than women. And I love it. I'm proud of it. I have sold my body for sex for men, for blowing and swallowing their cum, and to be fucked by men. So, and I've kept the notes, and I took photos of them. So, I've been a prostitute, and uh, I do. I love it. I have sucked probably thousands of men and I've been fucked by tens of well just hundreds upon hundreds of men yeah I love it I just adore it almost at Peter's place gonna suck his cock try and get some video of uh, me sucking his cock and him sucking me bye for now yeah bye <laughs> um well this is one of Tom's many cool dudes we're definitely showing this on your mom's house oh yeah I, he's I, probably I, driving to that guy's house we just watched but he could be he could be and he'd be a good match for him Kinda. Well, kinda. He Wait, wanted Duncan, a gangbang. Where did you get this from? My friend Brendan Walsh sent it to me. So just let me get permit. I don't know what this necess where it I came from. I mean, this from. file name looks like it came straight out of someone's phone. Yeah. So I don't know the. That's why I have to figure out. I don't know okay. the origination point of this. But so let, let me just say, I'm so proud. We get to send stuff to your mom's house. We've originated. We've created original material now on Doctor After Dark for yeah. your mom's house, and that. Um, that's a first, Duncan. Thank I, you for I that. will find out where that came from. Just do me a favor. Please don't, like, just because I don't know for sure. I don't want to get anyone in trouble. No, for sure, for sure. And if you do use it, will you credit Brendan Walsh, please? Yep. Now, see, maybe now, now, is that spiritual? What? This dude? Everything is spiritual. Okay, okay, okay. So I thought you'd say that. So, again, when I see this guy, I get a little sad. I get a sad because... Why did this guy have to get married and drag a woman into this? Just be gay. Mm -hmm. be, be happy and be delighted as you are being gay. Just go ahead. It's sad that he had to bring a woman into this, isn't it? I think that there is... Or is it a pretend that he's sad. I, I, it's just, I don't know. Unless she signed off on it and does her own thing. I don't know. Well, the reality is that every rotten place I've ever been in yes. leads to something better. 
Mud, it, mud lotus. No mud, no lotus. No and, mud, no yeah. lotus. And, and like, so is he the mud or the lotus? He's both. He's the mud and the lotus. <laughs> he's the cum and the bucket, baby. He's both. This is that we got to let go of our judgments and just let people be as they are. The universe is perfect. Is it great? He's fucking cheating on his wife no, and he's like sucking and blowing that's and he's great obsessive. That it's, it's great that he's doing all this stuff with men. Good on him. But the cheating on the wife part. He needs know. to be honest. But what, you know, the, the reality is we have to just let the universe do what it does. And sometimes we get cool dudes. <laughs> I guess my problem is as a clinician, I see this stuff and I see how there could be, things could be better. Well, I, but they're not. I know. They are. So I get sad when people hurt each other. We have to be, the first step is that we have to find the compassion for these cum buckets. And then after that, we will like, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I, my, my feeling with people like this is like, are they as happy as they could be? No. Are they harvesting potentially really rotten karma absolutely does it make me sad not at all not in the slightest at not all not the slightest no way so is it weird that i get sad when i see that no i think it's fine if, if you're legitimately getting sad if like you really I, feel that's yeah. beautiful there's yeah. a sense there that there's a feeling underneath that though that you should go into which is desire desire <laughs> so i want to be with that guy or with the threesome that you're setting up for me the reality is underneath it all is just you know on one level have you ever heard role versus soul that term no so but i i would argue more likely than desire it's more like fear of death is more like likely. for you yeah more likely to be under un, in terms of base feelings i think it's more that can i tell you something terrifying yeah they say in the bardo you see the things you're afraid of you see the things you're when afraid you die of. you're gonna like see this guy I'm not afraid of him he saddens me. He saddens. I was a f- little bit afraid of the other guy. I'm not. The by other the, guy scared me. I'm, I don't. I don't mean to seem callous. I think compassion is really good. Yeah. But usually, like compassion as it is, is interesting in that it's like finding a place to be cool with you as you are, and then if you can pull that off, sometimes you can actually be compassionate enough that when you see a person who's demonstrating what you would call irresponsible or potentially like. Uh, damaging behavior that could lead down a slippery slope of cum, just a slippery slope of cum all the way down. And but you, 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 if you can find a way to inst- look at look at that and maybe allow the sadness, but then also allow for this kind of spaciousness to let that being express himself as he is right there. You never know what can happen when you're around these people. And and in in that moment, you just don't know. That's the answer. Because if they sense you're sad, they're gonna get hard as a fucking rock. You're scaring me now. Think of that guy feeling like Dr. Drew all sad. He's like, oh yeah, you're sad, you're sad. Because it gives you a thing to fight against. Now you have a thing to push back against and that pushing back for some people is a fetish. I get that. Yeah, so the moment you drop all the sad stuff or the sort of like identity level stuff, you're like, fine you want to fucking you want to oh, jerk i'm fine him. i'm fine and i'm sad